Hey guys, John Oakes here, and this video is going to be a walkthrough for setting up your AWeber account for use with Empower Network. And what we're going to do is go into a, and, and basically set this up from a brand new AWeber account uh, for the very first time, importing in the 80 message auto follow up series that we provide you as part of our team and getting that set up and configured to work and seamlessly integrate with your Empower Network back office. So we're going to start here in your AWeber account. Now, if you don't have your AWeber account set up yet or you don't actually have an account, then the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your welcome email that you should have. It's something that the person that recruited you in our team would have sent to you. And if you go down to the bottom of that, towards the bottom, you're going to see a link right here. If you don't already have an AWeber account, use this link. If you click that link, it's going to go to AWeber and if you sign up through that link that your sponsor gave you, the first month with AWeber is only $1 and then it's $19 a month from that point forward. So uh, let's start here in your AWeber account. If you don't have this set up, you want to get to this point and then come back to this video. Uh, so once you get into your AWeber account and you're logged in, you're going to go up here to where it says current list and you're going to click this link that says create and manage lists. And that's going to take you to the list management screen. You're going to go right here and click this button that says create a new list. And then it's going to give it a default name. So what I suggest is that you just go ahead and name it something that makes sense. Uh, you can type in whatever you want. I'm going to just call this empower test. And uh, you can see in the case of this one, that name is already uh, active in their system, so it won't let you choose that. It's going to give you some other ones that you can select from, or you can just type in something like a number after it and see if that works. Uh, let's try Empower Test 7. Boy, uh, that's popular. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to EN Test List test list seven. Okay, there we go. We got one that's available. Uh, list description. I'm just going to put something in. Again, this part here is not visible to anyone. It's just for your own reference. So as you create multiple lists, if that's something you do, then you can kind of tell them apart. Um, your from name is what's going to show up when a recipient receives an email from you. So I highly suggest that you use your own name here. Uh, both first and last name is, is usually preferable. And then over here in address, you want to put your email address that is going to be the email that the emails are coming from when someone receives an email from you. So, you know, there's a lot of... Um, uh, mixed information out there. Some people tell you that you have to use a business email account. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can use your personal account if you have an account with Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail or something. That's perfectly fine. If you do happen to have your own domain, then feel free to use an email on your own domain. Of course, that looks more professional, but that doesn't necessarily make it better. All right, so let's go down here. Uh, as you come down, you can fill out any more of this information if you choose. The notifications, I don't usually bother with. Um, what that is, is if you want to get an email every time someone subscribes to your list, uh, you could put that in here and, and that's what would turn that on. I don't really recommend it because, you know, as you start to build an Empower Network, you're literally getting to the point where, you know, some days you have more than 100 leads coming onto your list. You don't really want to flood your inbox with that. You don't really need to know about those because, we don't call those leads. Uh, we let the system follow up with them and we follow up through communicating through our list, not over the telephone wasting time. So uh, let's go to the next step. So from here you go down to the bottom and hit save settings. And then that's going to take us to the next window which is company branding. Um, you can do this if you want. It's not really necessary. You know, but if you want to put in a, a company name, you could put something in there if you have a company name. Um, putting in a website URL, you could do that. Uh, or you can, you can just go down here like I usually do and maybe put in an email signature. And you can always include a phone number if you like. Uh, it's entirely up to you. You don't actually have to put any of that information in if you don't want to. It's not that important with what we're doing because pretty much all of the emails in the series already have that information coded into them. 
Um, so it's not really necessary. It's just an added thing if you want to do that. So down here, social media and sharing, I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, if you want to research and learn more about it, you can learn how to do those. So I'm just going to hit save settings. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to step number three, which is confirmed opt-in. So go ahead and click on this spot right here, and that'll take us to those options. Now this spot here uh, is something that's very, very important. We want to turn off the confirmed opt-in, also known as double opt-in. So right down here where it says require opt-in on web forms, we want to turn that off. And it's going to give you a, a question box here uh, asking if you're sure. Yes, go ahead and click yes, we're sure. Um, the success page, you don't really have to worry about this. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save settings. And we're going to move to the next step. Now the next step is, and I'm just going to close that little thing there, it's kind of annoying. The next step is to go ahead and import the messages from the 80 message autoresponder series. So what we're going to do is go over here to messages. So once you're on the messages screen, you're just going to come right down here. It should say follow up messages at the top of your screen. You're going to scroll down to where it says campaign sharing. And in that second box right there where it says load campaign, that's where we're going to put in the code for the campaign that we're going to load in. Now you'll find that again in your welcome email. So right here in this section toward the bottom where it talks about the instructions for setting up AWeber, uh, right here in step number two, you want to copy this code and paste that into that box exactly as it shows. And then click the button that says load campaign. And that'll take just a few seconds to load and then it's done and now you'll see it'll automatically refresh that screen and all of the 80 message series of email follow-up will be in the system. So these are all ready and, and done for you, professional written follow-up messages. Um, so once that's done, the next thing we're going to do is customize that a little bit. So the bottom of every one of those messages and the links contained in those email messages will be coded to your affiliate link within Power Network. So what we're going to do next is go over here to the My List tab and we're going to click on List Settings. And right here we are going to go over here to Step 2, Personalize Your List. And then we're going to scroll down and you'll see down here under this section called Global Text Snippets that there's going to be a whole bunch of customized fields that we can edit. Now by default, this is going to be uh, all set up for Shakir. And so you want to change all of this information so that it links to your affiliate links. So for example, all you would do in this first field is click the Edit button and change that to your name. Click Update. Go down to the next one and put your phone number in here and click update. Go down to the next one and just go to the very end of that URL and change the part that's right after ID equals to your username and hit update. Now be very careful, don't use my username, use your username in all of these. Uh, and just go down through these and change them. You don't need to change any of the URLs, just change the affiliate uh, user ID at the very end and hit update. And this one is going to be just your username. And this one here is again just the very end, just the username. And that's it. So now before you save, just kind of go through these again and make sure that they're all correct. And hit Save Settings. Perfect. Now, when somebody receives the messages from you, they are going to be all set up with your name, your phone number, your affiliate links in all the appropriate places, and it's all set to go. So we've got one more important step to do here. So what we're going to do now is we need to integrate this new AWeber list in with your Empower Network back office. So we're just going to go to EmpowerNetwork.com and log in. So you'll put your username in and your password and log in. 
once you're in the back office, let me pause the audio. Once you're in the back office, you're going to go here to My Tools, and you're going to scroll down, and just so you see, it's it's on the My Tools, and it'll be on the Lead Capture tab, and this spot here has all your Lead Capture pages listed, and at the bottom it says, click here to add your AWeber list name. So if you click there, there'll be a field here where you can put in your list name. So you go back to AWeber, and just click on home and you want to grab the actual list name now remember for this one we just did it's en test list 7 so that is what you would put into this box now again you whatever your list name is in AWeber is what you want to put in here and that will tie all of your Empower Network capture pages directly in with your AWeber account and once you've done that you just go ahead and click submit to change and that will be uh, put into effect. Now really important the next thing you want to do is again in the My Tools tab lead capture you want to go down to any of your capture pages and just click on one of those and put in your email address and click the button and you want to verify that the very next thing that happens is that it goes to the commission loophole video so if you haven't seen what that looks like that is this video. So you want to be sure this is what you see next when you put your email address in. And then you want to go over to your list and refresh. And that could take a, a couple of seconds, you know, give it maybe a full minute or so. Um, but if you come back up here and click home, once you've done that, you should see that, that this goes from a zero to a one, showing that there is now uh, an email address subscribed in your list. And if you click that, then that will go to this screen and it would show your email address and show that you're currently actively subscribed to your list. So then the next thing you want to do is check your email inbox, make sure that you did in fact receive the email from yourself and check the links to make sure they're, they're active and they do in fact go to your affiliate pages. And that's pretty much it. Once this is all set up, uh, it's done. Uh, also, just a quick plug, the 15K formula product with Empower Network goes in depth into email marketing, you know, how to properly use your AWeber system, um, how to customize the messages, uh, a ton of fantastic information on really how to use this. Uh, in fact, there's one module in the 15K formula that once I went through that module and, and implemented that, I literally doubled my traffic the very next day just from implementing something within AWeber that I wasn't doing previously. Um, so again, highly recommend that you get that product and go through that so that you really understand the power of using email marketing uh, as part of your overall marketing. All right, so that's the end of this video. Uh, again, you see it was a pretty simple process, just a, a few clicks and a few edits, and you're all set up and running with your email marketing system, fully integrated with Empower Network.